Hi everyone, my name is Zian and I'm from Danza Latina. So the dance we're going to be doing today is something that I'm calling the Kizumba rhythm. The song is not really Kizumba and the movements are not strictly Kizumba either. But because the song has a little bit of a Kizumba rhythm going to it, and we're going to be borrowing elements from the Kizumba dance to apply into the dance, and this is why I'm calling it the Kizumba rhythm. So how does the Kizumba rhythm go? It goes something like this. So the movements are not really Kizumba, but we're going to match the steps to follow that rhythm. We're going to begin this dance by moving along this line. Just remember, left foot always goes forward and right foot always goes back. We're going to start by taking our first step with our right foot, forward, and then forward and back, leaving with our left foot, forward and back. Then back and forward, leaving with our right foot, back and forward. Repeat, forward and back, back and forward. Next, we're going to be doing a series of open and close, starting with our left foot, and it looks like this. Open and close, then right foot. Open and close. Repeat. Open and close. Open and close. Next, we're going to be doing a series of steps, which I call around the world because you're going to be doing around this axis. And we're going to start on left foot. For the left foot, think of it as if you're going north, east, south, west. Or just front, side, back and side. And it looks like this. Open, recover. Open, recover. Open, recover, and in the last step, you're going to step to the side, and right foot's going to tap, because this time, you're going to do around the world with your right foot. And it looks like this. Open, recover, open, recover, open, recover, open, and on the last step, you're going to tap, because you're going to restart the dance with your left foot with a forward and back, back and forward. So, now that you know the dance, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat these movements over and over again to the song. Before we dance this to music, let's try these steps out first. So, starting with the right, we're going to go 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5, 6, and 7, 8, and 1. Now open and close, 2, and 3, 4, and 5. Again, 6, and 7, Eight and one around the world. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Then again, two and three, and we repeat. So here's an option for you amazing dancers out there. When you're doing around the world, you can add extra movements to make it more interesting. For example, you can add a little shimmy when you're doing around the world. You could do something like this. Shimmy, 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 and repeat. You can also add hip movements, which means that when you do it around the world, you don't actually have to do a full weight transfer to your other foot. It looks something like this. You can do hip, 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 hip. If you have other options that you'd like to explore, please feel free to do so because this is a dance and I want you to have a lot of fun. So let's try the dance again. This time I'm going to face this way so that it's easier for you to copy my movements. And we're going to do this without music first. Starting with your right foot, we're going to go 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5, 6, and 7, 8, and 1. Now side, 2, and 3, 4, and 5, 6, and 7, 8, and 1. Around the world, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And there you go. Now that you know the dance, we're going to dance this to music. Feel free to express yourself using your hands and your body and have a lot of fun. 